glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. A pair of teams who had national championship aspirations to start the season. This is an excellent consolation prize. A live look in in Glendale right now as we are closing in on the start of the Fiesta Bowl. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see us ahead. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Cavalry's coming. He's out to the 30. And he dives forward. The Black Knights have a lot at stake here, including some possible record-breaking performances. Records and stats are great, but I think to a man, these players say, let's win the game first, and then any accolades we get along with it, that'd be great. From their own 31-yard line, it's first down. that these linebackers back into the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, ate a beeline for the ball carrier. From their own 34-yard line, it's third down. gambled a bit here and came with the blitz and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From the 48-yard line, first down. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. That's the senior safety that made that tackle. Great job of providing run support from the secondary. From the 49-yard line, third down. A little toss across the middle. And they make the stop at about the 49. 
The completion won't even be close to the sticks, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Well, they'll give them the short yards in that situation just as long as they keep them from getting a first down. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. And he's tackled at the 23. Man, I'm not sure if the players on the return team are all on the same page there. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Potter with a pitch, and he's taken down at the 24-yard line. Gain of about a yard on the halfback toss. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 24. He's taken down at about the 21. That's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Steps out of bounds at the 26. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Johnson is back awaiting the punt. He makes it to the 42-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Tosses it out. Nice run to the outside. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. And he's tackled the 44 yard line. Monster run there by the fullback. You gotta wrap the big guy up. You can't allow the fullback to run wild like that on your defense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. It was the umpire that threw the flag, and generally, that's a holding penalty. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. Hey, it's the last game of the season. Might as well pull out all the stops. That's a great play by the defense. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He's at 
at midfield. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. Going deep. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him on a first and goal. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. Now it's first and goal with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Here they come. And that one's incomplete. That's a real danger. If he leaves too many passes short like that, sooner or later they're going to end up in the wrong set of hands. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Touchdown, Irish. Definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. And he adds the extra point. So a four-play, 59-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Notre Dame is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. taken down at the 18-yard line. Notre Dame's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Gets out to around the 28. So at the end of one, the Fighting Irish lead, 7-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. there for the halfback, but he picked up some tough yardage. Well, nothing fancy here. The back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down. From their own 30-yard line. First down. He gets hit out of bounds at the 35. got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. It's second and ten. Ball on the 30. Fakes the handoff and he's in trouble. He's to the 40. Dives, and he's down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Loss of two by the halfback. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. Flip 
Takes it middle to the running back. Brought down at the 44. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Callahan awaiting the return. He fields a punt at the 20. Tackle at the 34. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Notre Dame is up seven. So they get about four yards from play action. That makes it second and six. From their own 38-yard line. Second down. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Fires to his tight end. Nothing to him. is back to receive. Fielded at the 19. And down he goes at the 28. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. run here right side that makes it second and six second and six coming up here ball on the 33 yard line takes it up the middle for a nice run From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. And he's stopped behind the line. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. So they're going to go for it here. It's the tailback. Nice run, and he's brought down. to catch it. He's got nowhere to go. That'll make it second and seven. And this play is number eight on the drive. Fires out quickly to the 
the tailback. And he is drilled to 37 yard line. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. Quick strike and he drops it. to the fullback. They can't hook up. Incomplete. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. Oh, the defense was waiting on that one. They've seen plays like that all season long. They came up with a great stop. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Notre Dame up seven points. Nice run up the middle. They got a few yards there, but they need to be thinking bigger right now. Notre Dame's going to use their first time out of the half here. From their own 42-yard line, second down. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. Second and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Under pressure. Deep pass to the end zone. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Taken down around the 22-yard line. Scrambling around. And they got him. Notre Dame's called their final timeout. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Notre Dame is up a score. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25. Don't go anywhere, folks. It looks like we might have a pretty good game on our hands after all. 10-0, Fighting Irish. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. 
We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kurt. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. He's taken down at the 26. That brings up second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 26. scramble but he's sacked they get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started this young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen it's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that so that sack leaves them with some work to do it's third down and 14 strike and he can't pull it in can't ask for much more than a three and out great job defense That'll make it fourth and 14. Johnson is back deep to return Johnson fields it at the 37 and he's tackled at the 50 yard line There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. That's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball, and it got him a first down. and 10. Ball on the 33. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. down and they need to get it to the 23. He flings it over the middle. He found his halfback and turned it into a big game. This kid is a very personal back. He can run the ball, he can make the catch, but what you don't notice is his blocking. This guy's just an all-around player. down. Defense trying to hold their ground here. It's first and goal inside the five. Touchdown, Army! They went to their power back to get them in. I love to watch this guy play football. He just lowers his head and dares people to get in front of him. The draw within a field goal. And he converts the extra point. Williams is lined up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Army's the team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They've put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. It's 
and out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes to the 47-yard line. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Notre Dame has a three-point lead. Aaron and out long. Got a man. Watch out here. He's all the way. Touchdown. on the extra point. A quick two-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. I think the big thing there, Brad, is that they were able to execute the passing game. When you can get big plays and great execution, obviously you're going to move the ball down the field. So our score, 17-7. And he's taken down the 26-yard line. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. And they push him out at the 32. They're about four yards away here on second down. a yard, maybe less. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. Brought down at the 46-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. He makes it to the 48-yard line. A couple of yards there on the option of the halfback. That brings up second and nine. job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From their own 44-yard line, it's third down. Quick strike to the back, no good. will be the return man. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. Nice yardage on the run back. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. goes down quickly. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's on the run. Decides to slide. And a good decision there. Yeah, if he didn't have anybody open downfield and instead of panicking and throwing the ball into coverage or maybe throwing the ball away, he had the composure to recognize the open field and had the athletic ability to get the first down. That's a nice job.
Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start. False start. Offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So the penalty makes it first and 15. six yards on the play action tight end does a good job here of selling his block and then getting out on his route and making a nice catch for a good game they come out in a five wide set slides down to the ground that makes it third and three they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down Caught with room to work. Tackle made at the 37. That makes it first and ten. They come out on an empty backfield. tries to buy some time and they get the sack from the 42 yard line it's second down Gets hit out of bounds right around the 26 yard line. First down. From the 26 yard line. First down. short of the line of scrimmage. So at the end of the third quarter, Notre Dame leads it 17-7. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. This offense has got to be elated. This is what they had hoped for. A stop by their defense just to give them a chance. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks away. And he got it. Notre Dame kicked this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. They give to the tailback. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line.
throw, incomplete pass. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Callahan feels it at the 35. He makes it to the 48 yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They'll bring him down at the 47. Potter gets about a yard on the play. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 47. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. He's knocked out of bounds around the 41 yard line. close it looks like they're coming after this kick that turned out to be a nice little punt there it was just a little pooch kick but it was very effective the quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play Second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Third down. Taken down at the 36. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. He's going to try and scramble. Got the corner. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. to the left and it's going the other way nice interception and an even nicer vertical oh yeah this guy's an athlete there's no throwing it over this guy's head he'll go up and get it first down 10 yards to go ball in the 48 less than three minutes in the game Gets to about the 41-yard line. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. He's tackled at about the 31. From the 31 yard line, it's first down. Again with a carry. 
tackled outside after a nice pickup. Potter picks up five with the carry. Army will take their first time out of the half. Nice run there. The Black Knights are going to call their second time out. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Tackle at about the seven-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Gets to about the five-yard line. It's second and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. the PAT. It was a seven-play, 52-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. The score now, 27-7. Johnson fields it at the two. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Here's the throw to the fullback. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. Looks like offsides. Here's the official call. Offside. Looks like they got a little too anxious trying to jump the snap count. From their own 44-yard line, first down. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. They fall on it. Kirk, what happened on the option play there? Well, you got to give credit to the defense. They knew what was coming, and they came up and made the play. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 27-7, Fighting Irish. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Well, it's obvious that the talent level of these two teams wasn't even close. Army did a nice job of hanging in there against a far superior team, but in the end, they just didn't have enough to get it done. They played well, though. Nice job, guys. Here's another look at our selection for the EA Sports Player of the Game. For the Fighting Irish, they win another one late in the season, giving them an 8-5 record. And for Army, they drop below 500 on the season with today's loss.